personally, um, I think my kids would be proud of me for like what I do and for giving them like the life that they're gonna have because of my OnlyFans. So that's just what I think. I think I would be the cool mom, the mom driving a Porsche probably. Um, so why would my kids get bullied? They literally wouldn't. That's sounds good on paper but the thing is those kids are going to resent you they're going to get clowned they're probably going to get bullied and harassed because you did this so this is pretty much a laugh now cry later scenario but it's crazy because modern women they never look to the future they only see what makes them feel good right now in the present and they look at all of the cool stuff that they can get like a porsche and my kids will have the best life let alone letting them think for one second these women that they're even going to get a guy to take them serious to begin with to even have those kids who the hell wants to date the high school hoe i don't and i know a lot of men don't so it, this is just wishful thinking and a bunch of gibberish from a typical of creator or a modern woman with a body count way higher than a cemetery or your local morgue Well, that's easy. Uh, you don't add value after the sex and you're probably just the jump off. But the thing is, most women, they don't really think about that and they're not really critical thinkers when it comes to breaking this down. They just figure, hey, I'm pretty, I'm cute, guys like me, I'm attractive, the internet told me this, and now I'm gonna go out into the dating world and guys don't wanna really date me. They just wanna play the game, get the box, and once that's all said and done, they're just gonna kick me out, leave me, and not call me anymore. So you probably don't really add much value outside of the sex or the guys that you're having sex with. They don't really see the value in you. And that is the problem. Like a lot of these women, they think they have high value. They think that they will be great for a relationship. But nine times out of 10, if you get in a, you know, private space with them, they're really not what you think they are. Why? Because I meant to be tired. Why? This place is beautiful. I don't think I need to be tired. No, why? Why? You seriously don't think I need to be tired? No, why? What is going on? I'm sorry. For what? Can you tell me why you're breaking up with me? I mean, he probably does want to tell her deep down, but he knows that she's not going to understand. She might be emotional and she might get more erratic. And he's being very calm, collective for a young man dealing with a young woman. But you can tell in his gestures, in his face, in his tone, he's just over this woman. She probably does a lot of stuff behind the scenes that we don't know anything about and not most people that they're in his circle know that knows that's going on so he sent the, the breakup text as this said but what ended up happening is she beat him to the house before he could pack up and leave or go out of the house because she got that text message and that's the thing women like to hoard water down men and try to hold them captive i don't know if she really cares about this guy but he has to have a really good reason to try to leave the woman because let's be honest guys do we really leave women not really women can do a bunch of dumb stuff but men typically they don't leave their sexual access behind and they don't leave attractive or cute women they just don't a woman has to really do something really foul really bad maybe she cheated on him we don't know what happened maybe he found out something about her or maybe he's just done and he's come to his senses but she clearly has done something for this man to feel this way about her and it takes a lot because most men, we just don't leave women out of the blue. But women typically break up with men more than men break up with them. Myself. Okay, so when you're in California, uh, you want to Myself. You want to stay Myself. I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have anywhere to go. I don't. nowhere. You don't, you can't live nowhere and you can't, like, if she- if You're right, because house, I'm grown. I'm very like, grown hey, and I can do whatever I please okay, because fine, I am grown and I'm fine, very independent. Fine, fine. You're very independent, but yes, you don't know where to go? I don't. How's it been independent? Gotcha, bitch. Well, I was- Being behind your car, no. Lost your apartment. 
because I was in the hospital. 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 Because I was on ho in the hospital. Okay, social media can be a job. Social media can be a job. A job about yes. being a whore? No, it can't. You follow. They directed you that way. No. No. You wasn't. I don't even no, know. Can you like get off the phone it. with my nobody. sister? Car well, then why put me down? Why put me you down? Saying, why put me down? Why put me down? Maybe I would have never acted like this. Why put me put, down? Put you, down? you were literally on the phone putting me down. You were on TikTok Live. You were putting me down. About, yeah. Well, because two can play the him. game. Because two can play the game. Because two can play the game. Baby, this is chess, not checkers. Yeah. Do you hear yourself? Right yes, now? I'm hearing myself. I said oh chestnut checkers. Social media has got y'all in the blunt. How is social media getting us all? How? Explain. I just want her to leave. I'm sorry. I just want her to go. Hey, hold on. Say, can you please say that again? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put you on speakerphone. You said call the what because of what? You can't call the law. Because you know what? Too much for you to handle. I mean. She's not on the lease, right? Mom, why are you acting like that? Like, get off the phone. Hang up. Bro. Block my mom. No, I'm not. Block her. Your mom. They care about you. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. So who got who got money together to get you away from California? See, uh, Bro, Carla get just, off the phone with my mom. Carla, Carla just told us she has ways to, she has places to go. No, I don't. No, I don't. She has places to go. I don't. You, ask, you I want don't. to abide by their rules. That's why you're acting like that. Nobody even has you in their house and you're not doing what they want you to do. They're trying to make their house better for you. I'm not going with my mom. <laughs> Ugh. Like my mom just ugh. I don't know where to go I don't know where to go Like what? And my mom wants to be on the phone Oh and you can Technically you can You can call the cops You can Like are you serious? I mean, it's a fact, it's true. Clearly this woman has never seen a side of discipline in her entire life, but more so the fact that maybe you do need to go with your mom. Maybe you do need some structure because you can tell whoever was on the phone that was talking to the parent, that man that she was with, I don't know if that's her boyfriend, a guy that she was staying with. She clearly had an attitude, clearly wanted to talk back, clearly wanted to act like one of these modern women. When he said, hey, you got to get out of my house, she kind of put herself in a rough patch, in a bad predicament, because all she had to do was comply. You see, a lot of you women, you guys have it very simple. Men are not that difficult to please, and you can actually live amongst them and with them and just be normal, and a guy will be normal, joyous, and he won't really go through anything. But when women start acting modern and crazy, guys, if they got their stuff together, and that's his house, and it's not your house... He's going to kick you out and you're really going to be asking, yo, where am I going to go? Sort of like what she's saying right now. And she's like, my mom, ugh, my sister. Ugh. I thought she was talking to her sister at first because she said, get off the phone with her sister. Now she switched to the mom thing. So that just lets me know right off the back that she thought that her family was going to take her side, but they didn't. They know probably how she is. They probably know she's a drama queen. They know she needs to work on herself. And I don't know why that guy was even allowing her to live at the house. Maybe he was getting top every night. I don't know. But women, they always seem to switch up, show their cycle, and be psycho at the same time. Never date a woman who don't respect your wife. No, I didn't mean to say that. I said the wrong shit. <laughs> no, he meant that. That's absolutely true. Never date a woman. <laughs> that doesn't respect your wife <laughs> he probably has a bunch of side chicks but i mean or a side woman and that's just how it is man <laughs> he's funny for that but i mean dudes just want to have their cake and eat it too but they want to keep their main girl but a lot of people traditionally and you can hear the gasp in that crowd 
they really don't want to go for that and they really don't believe in that but hey that's just what a lot of dudes want to do <laughs> understand the frustration of women because what they're saying is there's not a big pool of good men that's a lie that's well, not a, a that, lie that is a that's lie. Not a lie listen what there's not a lot of good men who want y'all there's a lot of good men out there like they we're the good man that like they hiding under a rocker in a cave they everywhere they at the gas station they at costco they at the bank they walking right past you and you don't show up on their radar because of the way you are they're gonna walk right by you. Your pretty face ain't gonna go too far because everybody's pretty. That's a prerequisite. So if that's all you got to offer, we're not looking at you. There's plenty of good men, they just don't want your ass. I ain't never heard no woman say, I know I ain't shit. She'll say, this man ain't shit, he ain't shit. He was bad, he was bad. Every woman think they're a good woman. What makes you a good woman? Who's auditing that you're a good woman? You are auditing yourself. Why don't you ask your exes what they think? Because all your relationships diminished and ended in, in turmoil. You so know, maybe you're not as good as you really think you, you are. That's absolutely fact. Shout out to him. He's absolutely right. A lot of women think that they're good women. A lot of women think that they're a catch. But when you think about it, these women are 35, hitting, you know, geriatric pregnancy, 40 years old. They're already in the danger zone. Shout out to Kevin Samuels. Rest in peace. And a lot of them, I just learned a word from one of my subs today. He said that a woman that has less eggs, which they, you know, lose a lot of eggs by the age of 35 and older, he called them fried chickens. <laughs> he called them fried chickens. Shout out to him, bro. Uh, but it's absolutely true. A lot of these women, man, like they're expired and they're like, there's not enough good men in the dating pool. It's like, no, there's good men everywhere. But the thing is, those guys, they don't want you. And women like this, when, you know, they've relationships like he said those relationships that they've had have gone up in flames and they've gone through turmoil and you know it changes women all it takes is one bad experience and women are never the same they're very picky and it's like you can't really afford to be picky being on the top shelf at the salvation army or at the goodwill it just doesn't work like that so he's right a lot of those guys that you know may be good for those women may you know be in the actual range that they actually deserve at those ages like perfect to match up with those guys walk by by them those guys don't even look their way because they're like this woman just looks dramatic this looks like this is going to give me a hard time and i got something going for myself i got a stable job i got nice income coming in i got a really nice apartment and i just purchased a very nice car I don't want this chick having no access to any of this. So a lot of these women, if they believe that they're good, they're really not good because the baggage always ends up showing its dirty mug out of nowhere. Why do you wear suits everywhere? Every place you wear a suit. Okay. Why do you wear that hair everywhere? Change this your hairstyles. Yeah, but it's still not your hair. Did I say something about is this guy, is he, is he serious right now? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> whoever this dude is, wow, completely smoked her. So you ask stupid questions, you're going to get a stupid answer. When you play stupid games, expect to win even stupider prizes. Summed up. <laughs> <laughs> why do you always wear suits? Why why do you always wear other do other chicks with hair? Like why do you wear fake hair? <laughs> different hairstyles. Like okay, different styles and suits. Like what the f And then she got triggered and mad because she couldn't handle what she dished out and she got into her feelings and emotions and she wants to have this man removed. <laughs> it totally smoked her in that whole little debacle. Got him. We've can got him. What? Guess who called me last night at like 2 a.m.? My ex. You serious? Mm-hmm. Why don't you still got his number? I didn't. I like, I like, remember, I know his number. And it's not blocked? No, he's never bothered me before. So that's why I'm like, what the hell? Never bothered you before, so you, never, you didn't block it. Okay. He's, I'm going to keep that in mind. He's never bothered me before till now. Okay. So I was just... What? I was just wondering, should I call him back? Yeah, call him back. Yeah, invite him for dinner. Call him back. I'm invite him for serious. dinner. Yeah, should I call him back? Go ahead. Call him back. Call him back. See what happens. What do you mean, see what happens? Call him back. 
He could be a good guy. I might like the guy. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to, I want to call him back to see what he wanted. Call him. <laughs> yeah, ma'am, go ahead and call him. Go ahead, call him because he's still on your mind. This guy knows what's going on. He's like, yeah, call him. Pretty soon he's going to say, go over his house, spend the night, go on a date with him, be with him, and see what happens. That guy going to be gone like the wind. And that's the thing. It's a lot of women out here that are hella bold that still have feelings for guys. And this just goes to show you that that guy right there is a placeholder because women always have a spot reserved in their heart and in the back of their head for a guy that imprinted them or alpha whittled them. Like a dude that really put it on them, that they really love, that they really would like run back to at the drop of a hat. But that guy typically has already moved on and she was just living in the fantasy. She was never in that guy's league and that guy was just smashing her or that guy was just, you know, understanding his value and he dipped off. There's a lot of women out there like that. So your best bet is to never get in a relationship in the West. I don't know why guys even do this, especially after you smash. You should be trying to get the box, play the boyfriend role, but never ever say or initiate that you want to be in a relationship because once a woman figures that out she's like well you're all mine i'm gonna hoard him for now and if this dude was to do anything shady go out there smash another chick or cheat on her she would feel like she has possession of him she wouldn't cry for him like she would cry for the guy that she's mentioning the ex but she would definitely try to hoard him bully him and you know try to you know make him look like a bitch so yeah, your best bet is to just smash these chicks because they're not your girl. It's just your turn. You raggedy bitch. Ladies, have you ever said to a man, hey, I wanna go out to eat, and then you guys go out to eat and the man ends up thinking that you invited him out? This happened to me. I paid for it, but we never spoke again. I took my L. I don't know what you would have done, but I was like, I'm paying, but fuck you. You see, women are the only ones that do this. They get upset because they have to pay, even though you were the one that initiated. You were the initiator. And last time I checked, when it comes to modern dating rules, the person who asked the person out must be the one that pays. But she wants to pick and choose and think that she's so special, she should be treated like a princess, and she probably hasn't been on a date in a long time. She's probably used to dudes validating her and you know blowing up her dms and giving her uh all this false hope that she's some super attractive woman that deserves the world but in the comment section somebody actually asked her like what's the issue what's the problem with paying for the date if you're the initiator she said that i will only do this for my man and of course me and others turned around and said well that doesn't make any sense because the man you're not his girl so why should he have to pay for the date and then, she, of course, she went on and other women went on to say in the comment section, well, I wasn't raised that way. My dad didn't do this, didn't do that. The thing is, your dad and your mom, that's a way, way long time ago. That's a different generation. And why would you try to pattern it after that, especially in modern times? So women just use this stupid excuse to try to feel special, not pay on dates and pick and choose when they want to be a lady and when they want to be equal. <laughs> Not gonna happen around here, but women are the first ones that be like, F you, I'm never talking to you again. But a guy, he probably will get a chick a shot, even if he had to pay for the date by default. Absolutely ridiculous in the double standards that women use here in modern dating. This is why dudes shouldn't date her. Keep her away from any dates. Let the simps give her false validation. She's never gonna go on dates with them, but the guys that are actually, you know, the ones that she would go on dates with, just give her false hope, stand her up so she can do another story time on TikTok. Congratulations, you played yourself. You're coming to Paris. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to I you promise, you. okay? We oui. be sure on his pinky. Why? You're not leaning in. I'm sure he's fried. Take a video of what he does. Because they kidnapped me. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> they kidnapped me, so. Bonjour, Bonjour baguette. These are bodies. <laughs> okay, because I'm black. Guys, this is your daily reminder to get your passport because looking at this, I love the row reversal. I love the switch up, the change of hand. It's the opposite when you go overseas. Women are all over you. And men, you guys can take your pick. Or in this case, you could take all five. Women in the West, they typically have the pick of the litter. They're the ones that pretty much set the standards and the rules. And they're just looking for some simp to go ahead and validate them and waste their time and not give them box, but give their box, their used up cat, 
that's you know somewhere on Lailway with another Chad or another Tyrone to the guys that they want to give it to, which is a small percentage between the one and ten percent of men, and they pretty much control everything. But it's the reverse effect when you go overseas. That's the thing. You have the power. This is your daily reminder, guys. Get your passport. You don't have to deal with women. You don't even have to play the game. That's the thing. And a lot of you guys have checked out. And that's why a lot of women, they need to start checking in to a mental institution because they figured out that guys are just not playing their game anymore. But anyway, you know I got y'all, man. It's your boy Bountyville. Make sure you guys like the video, sub to the channel with post notifications on because I'm pretty much posting a video every single day here on this channel. I got to get back up to cooking this content that you guys love. Thank you for watching. That's the rest of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Stay up. Leave your comments down below. I'll see y'all. Peace. Two times. I'm out. Not. If one of us eat, then we all ball. Do. Sip colliders out in Cancun. Cancun. Please stop praying for my downfall. Please. It ain't coming no time soon. Not From cool. the concrete, a little bitty rose grew. Any